Hey everyone, welcome back to Fed Biz Exchange. I'm Michelle Brown, your coach and your mentor. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about finding your set asides. I've given you a few videos about what set asides are, how you need to use them. I know it's a little bit difficult to understand everything until you actually start doing it and you start winning. But if you take what I'm teaching you about set asides, it will all begin to make sense. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so let's get into it. The first way to find set asides for your company is the easiest way through sambeta.gov. So I'm already there. I'm going to go down to the bottom where I can choose my PSC codes. I can choose what set asides I'm looking for. And then it's going to pull up for me the set asides that are currently available. So right here down where my arrow is, I'm going to choose which set asides I'm looking for. Total small business. What if I just want to find all of the small business set asides? Sometimes that includes 8A, veterans, all of the set aside categories are included in total small business. Okay, so this, this is that area I talked to you about, the yellow area. That's 7% of the 23% that must be set aside. Okay, so once I choose which set aside I want, of course I need to put in, let's say I put in my PSC code. It only makes sense because you want to get exactly what you're looking for. So I already know what my industry is, medical. I already know what my one of my best PSC codes is. That would be 6515. That's medical. Or I could just choose 65 in general. Let me just do that. That way I will probably get more. That would be all of the categories under 65. So it could be 6508, 6509, it could be 6515. So I'm just going to take out that 6515 to make it a little broader. Okay, so I've asked for two things. I've asked for all of the, um, the PSC codes for uh, in my category under 65. I've also asked for all of the total small business set asides. As you can see, it says set asides. Now I'm going to go up and I don't want to see a whole bunch of other old junk. So I'm going to ask for under the type of notice, sources sought. I'm going to ask for pre solicitations and I'm going to ask for current solicitations. Now, why do I ask for sources, thoughts, and pre-solicitations? Because I don't want to miss anything. What if there's something out there new, some new sources, thoughts? Well, look at this. According to what I just asked for, there are about 123 results for set-asides for me and my business in my category. Okay. Now, they're a little mixed up. Some of them could be pre-solicitations, which I love because they give me a head start. Uh, what else? They could be a sources sought, or they could be an actual solicitation, which is due December 15th. So if you want to get all the junk out and you want to see what's available right away, there's another solicitation. What you need to do is ask for sources sought, you need to ask for pre-solicitations, and you need to ask for solicitations. So this is current set-aside activity for me. Now, what if I am also a veteran uh, and I want some service disabled veteran set asides? What I would do is come down here and click on service disabled veteran, and it would probably add more because I've asked for two set asides so far total small business and service disabled veteran. If I were also 8A, I would also add 8A right here, 8A set asides. Okay, and 8A sole source. So I just increased my list to about 149 results. Now that, that does not mean everything is brand new. Usually 
what I find is by the time you get to maybe the fifth or sixth or seventh page, you're running out of updated activity. But you should go through as far as think you as you think you should go to find the opportunities. And any opportunities I find, I would put them on my list. And on the day that I work on contracts, I come back and I click on each one of them and see which ones I'm going to bid on, which ones I'm going to respond to. And that's how I find set asides in FBO.gov, right? See, that's simple. You can do that. That's very simple. And you're going to see my video that says, just do it. Just do it. Just do what I showed you to find your set asides. This means that if you're focusing on your set asides, the competition is going to be minimal. You want your competition uh, ratios to be very good. You don't want to compete with a thousand people. You want to compete with three people, five people. Your chances for winning are going to be excellent. But you can't do anything if you don't try. Okay, and that's it for that one. Now let's go on over to the other way. There are only two ways through FBO and the other way is through forecast. These are the only two ways to find your set asides. Now you need to type in in your URL when you're watching this video and you're trying to do what I just demonstrated for you acquisition.gov. This is where you're going to find your forecast reports. I'm going to show you how to find forecast reports. This is very important to your success because again, you are looking for set asides for your company. You want to have as little competition as possible so that you can win. So what are procurement forecast reports? They tell you what's going to happen before it happens. Forecast reports are determined by law, meaning Again, the federal government has rules and regulations and they're trying to help you win. So if you want to win, you want to know what's going to happen before it happens. And guess what? Forecast reports are specifically to help small businesses. So I went to acquisition.gov. I come down towards the end, uh, the middle, but more towards the end of the page. I click on procurement forecast. I won't see every single forecast or every single agency in here, but I see most of them. Okay, so let's say I want to work with the Department of Interior because I know for a fact, I've done my homework, I know for a fact they have a lot of opportunities for my company. Here is the Department of Interior. So I'm going to click on the right side, not the left side. The, the left side is just for their website, their small business website. The right side is where I should be able to find their forecast report. Sometimes it's easy to find them when you click on the link. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes when you get in here, you need to look for them like I do. And what do you know? It's down here at the bottom of the page. DOI, Current Forecast Procurement Opportunities. I would click on that. I already have one open, so but I just want to show you how that works. Now, this is going to take you to the gateway. I can't do this with you right now, but I'm going to show you once you go through this process what you will get. What you will get is a report that looks like this. Let me just make sure you guys can see what I'm sharing with you. Make sure that you have that. You're going to get a spreadsheet that looks like this, okay? And this is the forecast report for the Department of Interior. Every agency that is spending money on government contracts to work with you or businesses like yours has something similar to this to let you know what's going on. Now, I have already been through this report and I highlighted it for you for this video. And I'm just going to walk through some of these, but most of them have the same information. The forecast report is one of the most powerful tools for you getting ahead of the game. You need to know what's happening and what's coming before it happens. So the first column, I, I actually hid some of the columns because we don't need them for the purpose of this video. But the first column, uh, column B, is telling you the title of the contracting opportunity. The second column, column C, is the description of 
what the job is, what the contract is all about. Okay, so you would open that up a little bit so you can see what's going on. The column D, the third column that we're looking at, is the agency. We know it was the Department of Interior. DOI, the Department of Interior, is the big daddy. Well, they have other baby sub-agencies underneath them, so you can see that, all right? I have so much stuff on my computer, it's not uploading. My system is telling me. It's, it may not be copying, but it is. So um, back to the spreadsheet, you just need to pay attention to these specific things. So like I said, Department of Interior is the Big Daddy agency. The organization is the sub-agency because every Big Daddy agency has baby sub-agencies underneath them. Who is making the decision for the purchase? The baby sub-agency, not the Big Daddy agency. You always need to look to see the organization or the sub-agency. So if I were interested in this opportunity, the first one, this Green Mountain opportunity, pen stock recodings, whatever that is, with vinyl. If I were interested, I would not reach out or look in the Department of Interior uh, under their solicitations. I would look under the Bureau of Reclamation, okay? Also, it's telling me the place of performance, which in this case is uh, Silverthorn, Silver, Silverthorn, Colorado. Okay, so you're going to learn a lot about looking at these forecast reports. You're going to know what's going on. You're going to know, wow, they have some opportunities coming to my state that I need to focus on. This is the NACE code. Okay, some of them even have the PSC code. This is uh, column K is telling you whether this is a new requirement. Is this a current contract? Does somebody already have it? Or is this brand new? Column, uh, what is this? Column O tells you the estimated dollar amount, okay? Now, uh, the next column is also telling you the estimated uh, dollar amount, but it's the full contract value that may or may not change from column to column, but they want you to know the value of the full maxed out contract. Then this category, S, is very important. It tells you the estimated award quarter. Is this going to be first quarter, second quarter? Well, remember, we're still in the first quarter. The first quarter was October 1st. This is why the forecast report is one of the most powerful uh, tools you could ever use or have on a daily or regular basis. Okay. The next is the fiscal year. We are already in fiscal year 2021 for those of you that don't know that. Now, here are your set asides in column A. A, your set asides are determined by the acquisition strategy. I know that means nothing to you, but it means a lot to me because what that means is every single year they decide how they're going to set aside and put out these different opportunities. It will begin to mean something to you when you understand the importance of using this. So if we look up and down this column, we see all of these A days that they're going to set aside. And we see all of these, um, not too many, but by Indian, that means they're set aside for, for Indian, uh, Indian owned companies that may or may not be 8A, hub zone, sole sources. But look at this, all of these, as we come down, I'm going to show you. Now you see where some of these say none, no set aside use. That doesn't mean they can't be turned into a set aside for you as a small business or a veteran. You could always ask them about that. But what I want to show you is there are a lot of small business Indian set-asides, but look at all of these total small business set-asides. That would be what I'm looking for. Now, am I only looking for total small business set-asides? No, I'm also looking for maybe 8A, maybe veteran, maybe I'm looking for, uh, like these just say regular small business, but it's the same thing. Maybe I'm looking to see if they're going to do any WOSBs. Do you see where some of these say to be determined? That means if you're ahead of this and if this is within your category, like this says below, let's, let's go across and see the entire opportunity. So this is a contract for interpretation services, right? What if you do that? What if you have a business where you work, you want to work with the government on interpretation services. So who's going to be responsible for making the decision on that contract? It will be the Bureau of Land Management. 
not the Department of Interior. They are the funding, the big daddy. They're the funding agency, okay? But the Bureau of Land Management will be the sub, the baby agency that will make the decision. So if you want to look for this, you need to follow the Bureau of Land Management. And you also need to contact the contracting officer, and I'll get to that in a second, but then you know it's going to be in California, so you need someone in California or someone on your staff. You also know the code that they're using. What if you don't have this NACE code in your system, 712-190? You need to take note of that code and put it in your SAM so that whenever something comes up, you know that this is the code that the Bureau of Land Management is using and maybe other agencies are using it as well. We also know that the contract value will be right around 150K, okay? We also know what else, that they are going to decide, oh, they haven't even decided when they're going to put this out. That's to be determined. So you want to, if you're gonna reach out to the contracting officer, you wanna ask them about this. Is this still in play? Are you still going to have this? Do you know when it's coming out to bid? You know, will there be a source of sought? Because it looks like you haven't determined whether or not you're going to set this aside for a small business. But if they hear from you, they may decide to do that. Okay, so there's a lot of information you can get off of your small business uh, forecast report. Now, let me see if I can. Yep, we have the contracting officer right here. That would be in column. A, J. All right. So that's a really good overview for forecast reports telling you the things you need to do to get on top of this. Right now, you know, I don't want to make this video too long, but I know that I gave you enough information for you to get started and figure out how do I start looking for set asides? How do I get ahead? Well, this is how you do it. And remember what I said just do it. This is something you can do. Just do it. Go look to see what your future can be. I know I did a video on what are your chances for winning in 2021. Looks like to me they're very good. They have nothing but small business opportunities all over this forecast report.